Mary Ayers is back at the table with us to answer some of your weather related questions. First of all, I have to apologize because between the coffee and the garlicky chicken I just had. I, I just, did. I, just, I was getting I, whiffs I, of garlic. I, I, it's okay. I like both. But I, I like love garlic. garlic. I like coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to twin it. We got a couple of really good questions. Yeah. And, you know, one of them has to deal with hurricanes. So we're right at the end of yeah. the hurricane season, which comes on November 30th. But our first question is from Eugene. He wants to know why hurricanes dump so much mm, rain yeah. once they travel inland. Okay, so you have to look at how a hurricane forms. So for one, they form off the west coast of Africa. You need all of the warm waters. Mm -hmm. So you have to have that water temperature above 80 degrees. So when you have that, you get all of those converging winds, lifts everything upward. But even when it moves over land, it still holds all of this moisture in those clouds. Oh. So it'll keep raining a lot just because it then starts to spin even slower. And then it'll just pull in all of that warm, moist air it, right across land, oh, that's the next one, uh, right across the land, but otherwise, you know, it can even hit well far from where the hurricane made well, landfall. I mean, it can overspread with so much moisture across, you know, we get the remnants all of the time. Right. Mm -hmm. But right. it just, it slows down. So then it just continuously dump. rains yeah. and dumps all of that. Because when it's over the ocean, it spins really fast. And you get that rapid movement because it has all of that fuel and then it right. just slows so down. does it keep collecting moisture yeah, like from yeah we have humid air around us but yeah. the more inland you know it does weaken once mm -hmm. it hits land Got so it. interesting yeah, yeah. Very really interesting. fascinating all right the second question is from john he says explain what feels like temperatures oh. are his question <laughs> is and this makes a lot of sense is it 20 degrees 20 degrees no, no. And, and John, you're fabulous. But he said it's ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. There is science to this. Okay, tell mm -hmm. us the science. Okay. We, need a, we need an explanation. Okay, so it is how it feels on your skin as you're heading out. So this is our body and it loses heat through convection, right? So with no wind, it feels like 20 degrees, right? Because we have a warm layer over our bodies. Mm -hmm. When you get wind, it blows off. So it's going to 20 degrees, you have strong winds, and there's an actual chart too with exactly how much wind it, how strong the wind is to how it's going to feel. Okay. So, you know, it makes our body heat, it makes us lose body heat mm. even faster when those winds are strong. So it does feel colder than that actual temperature. It's because when it's windy, the layer is blown away. So the stronger that the wind. That guy looks absolutely Yeah, miserable. and that's how it is. Yeah. So yeah, stronger the wind, faster we lose warmth, the colder it feels. Unless you're a superhero, the human torch, you are not exempt from this. So mm. when the feels like temperature is lower, is it it's mostly or all the time because of wind chill? All of the time because okay. of wind chill. Got chill it. is the key. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's good all explanation. Right. Dropping some knowledge. All the good time. Stuff. Thanks, Mary. Not ridiculous, John. No. It's science. <laughs> It is science. All right, well, still to come on Talk Pittsburgh. Have you made your list and checked it twice? Close shopping is a new trend, and we'll tell you why it might be the way to a happier holiday season.